Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. We are at Laguna Oquitos. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'm going to take a look, make sure I have that right. I think Laguna Oquitos. And we are actually starting over here, because honestly, I don't think I've ever come to this location when I've been on this map. I've been here. And here and here. Not sure what we're going to get. I don't really have any particular drive to catch one species. But I did want to come use this little boat that I have here. This is the Aichu Explorer. It's obviously some kind of kayak new type thing, but it's paddle driven. Yeah, I kind of think it's kind of pretty cool. It's not very fast, obviously, but it has a fish finder. There it is. Isn't that kind of cool? I wouldn't mind having something like this. Of course, you can only fish with one person, but... I am working on my sound, guys, because... I just recently changed my headset. And this one is a little different. I can't hear myself talk. I can only hear myself muffled, so I'm not sure what I sound like. And I think in Starfield, I was kind of quiet in a few few sequences, but then the sound on it was so loud that I don't think it mattered much. We've got fish in front of us around here. I don't know what's going to be here, but actually this is good Arapaima territory. At least it looks like it. But if you look at the map here, uh, it looks like we could come down here quite. I don't know if you can bring up the map or not. Eh, we are at the very base of this, so we need to head this way if we want to get out of here. Or to the left, if we want to go a little bit further in. This thing could take us in places that we normally couldn't go. Let me see what we can do about doing some fishing. I don't know if we're going to catch anything out here, but we definitely give it a try. Let's go ahead and switch to fishing. Cue. Yeah, I don't think I would be standing like that. <laughs> Lava to fall in. Let me see what we've got on our exotic mix here. We've got... We do have a, I think we have a buzz bait on here. Yes, we do. Reflex buzz bait. Blue shed nickel blue. Take a look at that, actually. That might not do too bad. I know they used to catch the air pime out here before. But we're not going to be able to use the bottom runs out here. Not unless we go to shore. Let's see what we can get here. There are fish out there. Apparently quite a few. We're a little bit fast. Let's take it down to about a about a two. My reading is there should be a fish right out in front of us. 
I'm hoping they go for this buzz bait. I just saw a fish. And there it is. Yep, we got something. I saw something pop its ugly head up. And I think we actually might have a Narapima. Nope, we've got us a wolf fish. And I wish I could catch these this easily in Fishing Planet. Holy crap. Yep, this is a Trahira, or wolffish, or tigerfish. I think they call it all kinds of different things, but... I knew I saw a fish out here, and he went for that buzz bait right off the bat. Let's put a little more pressure on him. Okay, we can put more, even more. There we go. We got him. There you go. Now that's a good look at a Trahira. Giant wolf fish. 16 pounder. Big old teeth, big, big old red eyes. That is a good way to start this off. There's more out there too. Let's see what we got here, guys. Love to find a trophy version of those, but. This is a real good lure for here. I know that last time I was here I had a lot of luck. There's another fish, but he went off to the left, so I don't know if he's going to... ...show any interest, but let's try... ...casting over here and see if we can... There's another one. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and switch back to driving. Ah. There's a red tail catfish right there. Well, we've seen plenty of those back in Thailand. Yeah, this is where they're natively found. The ones in Thailand have been relocated there. Because that's a resort. The purpose of that resort is for fishing and for fishermen come and stay and fish for all kinds of exotic species whether they're local or not but we're going to come over here where there's some cover and see if we can't get something a little different like a little I think wait a minute I think there's a little secret place back here that you could probably only get there and I no, they got it blocked off. Back on it. I thought maybe I could sneak back there since I've got this special kind of boat. No. Not unless I go on shore, and I don't know if I can get on shore. Oh. Yep, I'm not able to get to the secret place. Okay. Let's try fishing across these, they're not lily pads, but duckweed of some kind. Let's see if there's anything that might go for this. Yeah, in this boat, I think lure fishing is going to be our method of choice for fishing, period. Yeah, seems like things are a little bit quiet. I've got a fish right there, right next to me.
Yeah, I'm not picking much up on the radar here. I keep on call it radar, it's sonar. That's probably a catfish down there. A lot of things down in holes. I'd like to find a school. Yeah, I think they might be actually out in the deeper water. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of catfish down there. They're not going to be going for this door. There's a few fish swimming around up top side, but not too many. Well, let's take a look and see what we have here that we might be able to use. Try the buzz bait. We got crankbaits, we got rattle traps. Now, a rattle trap might do pretty good, honestly, in this situation. Get a big one. Let this sink down a little bit and maybe we can get something. There's something down there. I don't know if it'll go for this particular lure, but there's definitely fish out here. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, this fish is a little bit strong. Right for that rattle trap. I'm curious to see what this is. Is it another wolf fish? Something different? No, I think it might be some kind of a. Yep, I think it's a butterfly peacock bass. Good. Hoping I get one of these guys. Oh. Yeah, there you go. This is like regular bass fishing. These guys fight. Oh, that's a nice one. The big old cichlid is what it is. Peacock bass, personal best, eight pounder. Not bad. Alright, since we've got we've got some more out there, let's see what we what we can get here. Yeah, they're definitely out in deeper water. They're not up close to the shore right now, but they probably move in the shore at sunset. That's my guess. Something moving over there. That was a good strike. A perfect strike. Okay, this is different too. Might be another wolf fish. I think it is. It's just a lighter color. Much more pale. Yep. He not he is not nearly as big as that first one, but he's gonna be an interesting one to look at.
Come on, big fella. Yeah, regardless, they're definitely good fighters. Come on. Come in here to me. There you go. Yep, it is definitely a wolf fish. He is really pale. He's not that much smaller than you, though. No? Interesting looking fish, really is. Got a bunch of them out there. I think we're done with this yet, and they seem to really like this rattle trap, so we'll keep using it, but I'm going to need to let it drop a little bit again. There's another good size one. Ah, perfect strike. We're doing really well out here, guys. Lots of bites. Yeah, there's all kinds of fish out here. They're definitely out in the center. Yeah, I figured here I'd be taking a more active approach, but we're definitely getting a wolf, giant wolf fish out here. This one almost looks blue. That one that was dark, one that was light, and now blue one. A lot of varieties, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Yeah, he didn't want to be caught. He is not happy. Not a happy fish. Alright, we got him. See, he's got a lot of blue in him. Especially around the tail and under his chin. A lot of blue. He's not very big. Only 11 pounds. Let's see here, guys. Let's go over here a little bit further in. This is called putting your back into it, <laughs> without a doubt. Yeah, see all this cover here? That's why I wanted to come back over on this side of things. We got a lot of fish out here. Look at them all. Can't imagine we're not going to track something that gone that fast, too. I'm thinking we have us another peacock. Yeah, the wolf fish they fought, but my god, the peacock they they try to snap that line if they can. I'm not sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're trying to do. That is a peacock bass, but he's blue. A blue one? Is that right? If 
he is as blue as he is looking from here, I'm definitely getting a picture of the guy. Good lord, this guy is trying very hard to, to get away. We got him, we got him. Well, that's weird looking. Out here, he looks really pale. I think it's just the sun. He does have a lot of blue in him. You can see it more in his tail. The picture's not going to turn out very well. It's going to be too washed out. Personal best, though, 12 pound, 8 ounces. Yeah, that is a nice fish. Some seriously tough line for him to put that much pressure on it. He is a strong fish. Holy crap, did I just see what I just thought I saw? Yeah, there was a, a monster that just swam right past here. I mean, a big, big old fish. And he disappeared, but what the heck was that? What the heck was that? Let me see here. There are some lures that those type of fish will go for. But maybe a swim bait? Worm? No tubes. Big dog perch, big dog white. Hey, you know, we Let's see these tubes they might go for. Head bombs. Let's just try it. Let's try it. Where's our... I haven't seen fish all around here, so I don't know. Sometimes the catfish will go for the soft baits, so that's why I thought I might give it a try. It's going to have to go down to the bottom. Well, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Didn't even make it there. The crap. Yeah, it was just sinking and then something bit it. Wow, this is quite the fishery, guys. I mean, fish here just practically jump on the line. Crap. God. Yeah, they're black Paku here too. That's another possibility. Although I think they're more likely to bite closer to evening. Yep, yeah, we got us another butterfly peacock. Yeah, 
he's got a lot of blue and green in him. Yeah, the butterflies are seriously, seriously ravenous in the afternoon, it seems like. That's true in Fishing Planet, too. It's like when all the other species stop biting, they do. I don't see the blue so much on him now. That might be another... No, I was going to say, I thought for a minute maybe he was another personal best, but he's not. Nice looking fish, though. Let's try over here, because that's where I saw that one that was huge. Let it sink, providing the fish will let it... I'll be a... That is a poor strike, but... Holy crap, they really like this lure. <laughs> no, nah, I, I was not ready for anything to bite on it, so I didn't hit it with my best ability. But watch it too. That means they can easily snap it. I think it's a little wolf fish. Yep, he's a little wolf fish. He's not very big, but he's a pretty little guy. Six pounds. Yeah, he's he's ba he's a baby. Like I said, ravenous little guys. I tell you, this was a tube. It was, I think, a green tube. This time I need to be ready. This is crazy that they bite on it that soon. I wanted it to get to the bottom because there's... That's where the cat did it again. Plenty of excitement out here, guys. Lots of excitement. He's not putting a whole lot of pressure on here, so he's not that big. I don't know. He's holding his own. Still not sure what he is. We'll fish again. He does not want to come in. Keep the pressure on him. Keep my rod up. Come on. Aim in the butt. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, he might be the biggest one I've caught so far. That's a nice one. 21 pounds, yeah. It's called the Viber King Tube Summer Gill. That's what I'm using. 
That's a pretty one. I like that one. Good picture. Let's see what other kinds of soft baits we have here. Yeah, what are these D bombs that I'm seeing so much of? You have these stick baits, but the D bombs, how much cash do I have? I don't have any D bombs in my inventory. I'm just really kind of interested in seeing what they do. Especially this love bug. I wonder if they go for it. We're going to try to let it sink. Not sure if we'll be successful. These guys haven't let it touch bottom yet. Might make it. There we go. You never know. This may not be something that they're interested in. But I wanted to give it a try. I definitely go for the tube, so. Try over here and see. I'm just going to take a look around, see if I see any activity. Okay, we got something. Um, did go for it. Can't really tell what it is. It's not putting a whole lot of pressure. I don't think it's a butterfly peacock. If it is, he's not fighting very hard. I'm not 100% certain, but that looked a little bit like a catfish. If so, that's great. This would be a great lure to try to catch those guys in the next episode. I think we're about done with this one, but this is really really have been a good episode guys we have done very well and I like this boat getting around I tell you though it is swimming a lot like a catfish it is a catfish I think it's a red tail. But we may have found something that they like. Yeah, I would love to catch that big sucker that I saw swimming close to the boat. Holy crap, that was a monster. Just caught the corner of him too. I was not really paying attention to the side of the boat and I saw that come up and I'm Holy crap, what was that? Okay, we need to put a little more pressure on because he is not budging.
All right, we got him. Sure is. Red tail catfish. Big one. Holy crap. That just took us up a level. The D bomb love bug. Red tail catfish, 59 pounds. They went for it. What do you think about that, guys? That is cool. I have found the lure for the cats. Alright guys, well, that was already probably a little bit long, but it was a lot of fun, but we managed to catch three different species, a bunch of different varieties of those species, even caught a catfish off of a lure, which is not all that easy. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, and until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye bye.